Beavers have been present for millennia, but were trapped heavily beginning in the 17th century, and few were left by 1900. Populations began to recover in the early 1900s and then exploded. Their numbers are now believed to be as high or higher than they were prior to the arrival of European settlers. When beavers exhaust their food supply of young saplings, including aspen, alder, and willow, within a reasonable dragging distance from their lodge, they abandon the site and move to another location. The effect beavers have on a watershed and its wetlands lasts long after the beavers are gone. Over time, the saplings regenerate and beavers return to start a 20 to 40 year cycle over again. In these first video clips, most beaver dams are covered in vegetation and some ponds are no longer full of water, indicating beavers have abandoned these pond chains and moved on to a fresh food supply. When beavers return to a watershed, they generally build dams on the same site as the original. They instinctively know the best place in the terrain to build their dam. On this beaver pond chain in the mountains west of Ticonderoga, in the southern Adirondacks, there are 12 mature dams and 5 or 6 beaver lodges, all of which appear to be active. Beavers have completed much work to terrace this small stream into manageable drops at each dam, similar to rice paddies, building their dams at natural pinch points. The 12 dams reflect a total drop between 16 and 20 feet from the first dam to the last. While some of the dams have vegetation on them, the areas where beavers slide over the dam traveling from pond to pond is clear and dam repairs can be seen on several dams, indicating that beavers are still active in this chain. Beavers use these ponds to travel without exposure to predators. Here is an active beaver dam, raising water levels in the pond above the dam by more than a foot. This dam has no vegetation growing on it, indicating it is actively maintained. The dead trees above the dam were likely killed by flooding and appear to have been dead for multiple years. Most all of the branches used in this dam's construction appear to have been skinned of bark prior to use. A beaver lodge is typically located in the pond upstream of the dam at a location where food supply trees are plentiful within easy dragging distance to the lodge. The beaver's food caches are stored underwater near the lodge for easy access during winter when the pond is frozen. Traveling upstream toward Otter Pond, an intact beaver dam on the outlet has raised water levels about 18 inches at Otter Pond in the Five Ponds Wilderness. The increased water level has flooded some wetlands, changing vegetation cover types over time, and floated the shoreline bogs. When the beaver dam fails in future, the pond will return to its pre-dam water level, shoreline bogs will subside, flooded wetlands will dry, and this pond's wetland character will change for many years until the beavers return to begin a new 20 to 40 year cycle. This beaver cycle has existed for thousands of years, except during the 17th through the 19th centuries when beaver were heavily trapped. Two old and abandoned beaver dams on a side channel of Otter Pond indicate beaver have exhausted the nearby food supply and moved on to a new location. The main dam at Otter Pond may suffer the same fate in the near future. Beavers have been altering wetlands by building dams and creating impoundments for the last 10,000 years ever since the glaciers melted. While they were close to extinction by 1900, beavers have made a remarkable recovery fueled by available woody plant food supplies and continue a cycle of building and abandoning beaver pond chains throughout the northern forest and Adirondacks.